All right, thanks, Brittany. From 4th of July pies to the 4th of July fireworks, one of my favorite things, Freedom 4th coming up this Friday, 4th of July. City of Albuquerque hosting this fantastic event here to talk more about it. Bree Ortiz and Eric Werner, guys, thanks for coming in. So um, lots of stuff going on for the 4th of July. Fill us in on some of the fun things that we can expect for Freedom 4th this year. Yeah, so the gates open at 3 o'clock on Friday at Balloon Fiesta Park. Um, lots for the whole family. It's a free event, so we have free kids activities with inflatables and obstacle courses and face painting, everyone's favorite. We have a car show, 30 food vendors, so a little bit for everybody. Wow. We have a microbrew garden with eight local breweries that will be in there for oh, the great. adults as yeah. well, um, and two stages. And then one of the smaller stages is the cultural stage, mm -hmm. has everything from um, Japanese music and Irish music, um, National Institute of Flamenco will be out there, Polynesian dancers, so a lot for everybody to just kind of walk around that really big park and That's enjoy great. the 4th of July. That's great, and of course, uh, the big name that a lot of people are really excited about, Winona, yep. Winona Judd. Uh, Winona and uh, The Big Noise, the noise. That, that's her new band, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, we're really excited to be bringing Winona out. Um, it's one of the biggest headliners we've ever brought. Um, but there'll be entertainment starting at 4 on the main stage all day. A lot of great local bands. Uh, the Rudy Boy Experiment, uh, Combo Special, uh, Simbalki and the Honky Tonk Crew. But of course, everybody's waiting for Winona. And then, of course, when that finishes, one of the largest fireworks displays in the state. So right. we're really excited. That'll kick off right around 9.15. Around 9.15. Fantastic. Yeah. And so you said the gates open at 3. Yeah. So we can, you know, depending on what we want to do, how much time we want to spend there from three on we can just go now going is is a big thing that we want to talk about getting there because yeah. this is a hugely popular event park and ride that is the way to go is that right yeah i think park and ride for sure of course you can take your personal vehicles to get into the park but we have two park and ride locations one at coronado mall and one at st pius we're closing jefferson to park buses only so it will be easier to get in and out and um, you can take everyone your whole family right on the bus and get right to the park that's great now is there a fee for the park and ride uh, yes, it's actually, it's um, it's really cheap. It's $1. That's oh, it. Really? Yeah. $1 to go, and it's $10 to park. So oh, not great. only park and ride, is that going to be easier and less less of a headache, but mm -hmm. it's going to be it's gonna be cheaper. Um, yeah. So we, we really want to encourage everybody to take park and ride to the event. Yeah, so. absolutely. And, you know, making it convenient, of course, with the Paseo Interchange Project right now, traffic, uh, a big concern for a lot of folks. So do yourself a favor. Do thousands of other New Mexicans a favor. Use the park and ride service and enjoy uh, the, 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 the way that you get there. So... I think that this is going to be a lot of fun, and for more information on this, folks, the Freedom Fourth, of course, one of the biggest parties for the Fourth of July in the state of New Mexico. Head over to Casa.com, click on the Style tab, and again, it's free. Yes, free. free event for the whole family. Please come out. We'll see you on Friday. That's right, free event. We're going to head right now uh, inside with Brittany and your American Home Tip of the Day.